Good morning, Wildcats. It's the calm before the storm. Uh, it's Friday. Hopefully you're seeing this on Friday. If not, <clears throat> take a look at it later when you can. I'm going to go over a little bit of the basketball uh, terminology we discussed earlier. So, you know, you know it. Okay, we're going to start off. These are things you should know. The Right now, go grab a pen, grab some paper, take some notes. So if you know it, commit it to memory because we're going to use these terms with each other. We'll use these terms, and you need to understand and know what's going on during the game, okay? Trust me, some of it may be a little hard to pick up, but once it is and it's part of you, it'll be part of you forever. It's been part of me for years, okay? First is PMP. This is what we expect. PMP, practice makes permanent. Did a whole video on that. No need to go any further. Number one rule on offense. Number one rule on offense. Offense is when we have the ball. You want a PNC. You want to pass and cut. You hear me saying that? Pass and cut. What's that mean? You're constantly moving. I do not need you standing still. Pass that ball. Cut towards the ball. You never know you may get it back. This is a north-south game. We got to score. We got to get back on defense. Score, defense. Okay? Ten toes down. What does that mean? At the free throw line, let's make sure both of our feet, all of our toes are pointed toward the basket. Sounds simple, but it's not. When you crush that ball, you want to square up. You want to be right at the basket because you want to look at a good shot. A lot of times we're shooting off balance, off one foot, jumping one place, coming somewhere else. We've got to work on our shooting. We've got to make sure it's a smooth, fluid motion. If we're going to do a jump shot, we should land exactly in the same spot we took off from. So you really want to work on that. Okay? For defense, this is what I want to see at all times playing defense, either NTC or ETC. NTC is when you guard someone with the ball that's nose to chest. You down low, your nose is right there at the chest, you following the person, not the ball. You're swiping all at the ball, nose to chest, dig deep. When you're guarding someone who does not have the ball, you want ear to chest. What's that mean? You separate. You got them on one side. You got one arm in the passing lane to block any any shot. I mean, any passes coming through. Other right there. You're down lower than them. Ear to chest. We'll work on that some in practice. Okay. Skip over that one for now. PBP. This means one thing on offense, one thing on defense. On defense, it means pressure, bust, pipes. We need tenacious, voracious, vicious, ferocious, in your face defense at all times. In order to play defense like that, you got to get in shape. It's coming third quarter, fourth quarter, when everybody else is lacking, you got to be ready. So what are we going to do to get in shape? We're going to run. But you're not going to get there just running in practice two days a week, which means you're going to have to jog or run at home every day, get that stamina up. Now, basketball is a game of bursts, so we need those quick, short, explosive bursts of speed. So when you're out there jogging and running, maybe jog 20 seconds, sprint five. Jog 15 seconds, sprint 10. On and off, on and off, switching directions. That's the kind of speed and stamina we need. On offense, PBP means patience beats pressure. When they're pressuring you and they're all in your face and all that, calm down, take a deep breath, pass. Passing beats the press. That's another PBP. Patience beats pressure. You need to pause this right now, kind of get some of this down, do that, come back, because I need you to commit these things to memory because we don't have time and practice to drill and go over this, okay? G and G. No, I'm not talking about your teammate. G and G means give and go for all of you. <clears throat> pass that ball and go. Go to the basket. I don't want to see you floating, trailing around on the outside. Christian, David, not to name no names, Maxwell. I need to see you cutting toward the basket. If you see your teammate in trouble, cut back toward him. If you think about it like this, making V cuts, a series of Vs. You know how V does this? Down, back up, down, back up, down, back up. But you can't stay in the lane. It's three seconds. And you can't leave your man stranded on the island. But give and go with the ball. Give and go generally just means you pass the ball, cut to the basket, get it right back to you, you put it right up. Give and go. We're going to work on those two. Square up. Shoulders to the basket, legs to the basket. When you catch that ball, the first thing you do is square up. Square up and attack. As you're preparing to catch the ball, already know you're going to attack. You cannot catch the ball and think about what you're going to do. You got a half second advantage on the defense and you got to use it. I say attack the basket. Attack the basket because it, you, can, you can pass off if you're a double team or you can get it up. If we want to put up those Golden State points, we got to square up first. PNR. 
fundamental in basketball, pick and roll. Set a screen, roll off that screen. It's got to be that two-way communication. We're going to work on that. Pick and roll. Google it, take a look at it, and understand we are going to work on it. It may start off raggedy, a little rough. By the mid-season, we're going to be in fire form. The next series I'm going to talk about are all, I got a T right here for talk. Ball. Whoever has the ball, on the, you know, whoever's covering the ball handler, call it out. Ball, ball, ball. We have got to talk to each other on the court. I'm going to be on you about talking to each other. We've got to do it, okay? Screens. Don't let your teammate run into a screen. Don't let them run dead into a wall. Let them know when the screen is coming. So that means you people kind of in the front court playing, some of my, my post players, some of my bigger players, you see them set the screen on the guards, guard, say something. Screen left, screen right, screen back. Let them know it's coming, okay? If they set a screen, you can't fight through it, you'll switch. What will happen is, instead of you trying to fight through the screen, you'll take the other player, you, and they'll take the man you were covering because they're right there at your switch. You make it real easy. Let your teammates know, okay? Let them know. This is just a phrase all in the game. A lot of stuff that may happen to you, a lot of calls you may or may not get, a lot of times somebody may file you, just shake it all off. You tough, your wildcat is all in the game. Don't worry about it, okay? I don't want any of you arguing with officials. I don't want any of you paying any attention to the crowd. If there's a problem with officials, a problem with calls, that's my job. I will take care of you. Trust I have your back. Don't get into it with other players. Play your game. Play smart. Play your game, okay? Right back up. Fall down, pop right back up. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wrong thing. Right back up. That means you get the offensive rebound, man. Don't dribble. Shoot that. Don't bend all the way down. As soon as you get it, take it up. Take it up. Take it up. That's why we do the drills we do. Take that ball up. Okay? DDS. Disrupt they shot. Yeah, I used some improper English there, but disrupt they shot. I don't want you leaving your feet trying to block it. I don't want you reaching in, but disrupt they shot, okay? That means you run at them, you make noise in front of their face. You want them to miss that shot, but you don't want to foul them. On defense, any S, no easy shots. We do not give up any easy shots. Somebody steals the ball from you, there's no time for you to sit around and smack your head and pout. No, no. get back at it, get it, make them miss. Nine times out of ten, they're going to miss that layup. You make a miss by getting down there hard. Let me hear those footsteps behind you, okay? Footsteps behind them, I'm sorry. Help, help, help. Help, talk to each other. Something's going on, let them know. Watch out for the long pass. We can't get beat by the baseball pass. One person should always be back. You should know who that is. Two to three people should be back to help bring the ball up. We've got to help each other. We cannot afford to leave our teammates stranded on the island. You're a ball player. You are a ball player. What does that mean? You got to move with confidence. Don't go out there shrugging your shoulders, looking like you don't know what's going on. Yes, announcements. But you are a ball player. Remember that. You would not be here if you weren't, okay? 200%. Push yourself 200%. Push yourself. Your tongue is hanging out. Push yourself in every practice. Push yourself every time you go out and drill in your backyard. This is the only way you're going to get better. You're not going to get better staying in your comfort zone. And nine times out of ten, whatever you're doing in your comfort zone is not helping your game. I need everybody to be a hog. What does that mean? Get the boards. Get all the boards. The number three things we're going to do, three things we're going to do, aggressive defense. Aggressive defense. Offensive and defensive rebounding monsters. Last but not least, we're going to be 70% or better from the foul line. But you got to be a hog. Don't only be a hog, be a boss hog. Get all the offensive boards, okay? Generally, the person with the most offensive boards has the most points. That's the way it works in youth basketball. We need those offensive boards. We need to keep the defense honest. We need to put them on their heels. We don't need long rebounds coming off and they got fast breaks. And all of a sudden, we down 10, 15, 20 points. Go get the boards. I said there's no MVPs. There's not. But we will reward those people who get those offensive boards because that's work. When you hear this, when you hear me say operate, 
you give it to them. Give it to them. Go to the basket. Every single one of you needs to have at least two post moves, two go-to moves, whether it's a drop step, whether it's a pivot, anything. By post moves, you know I mean moves down in the paint. Study your terminology, you know what I'm talking about. If you're looking now like post moves, what's he talking about? You need real post moves down there on those low blocks. Now, I called out people that need three post moves. Mo, you need three. I know you like to shoot them threes. You need three post moves. G, you need three to four. TJ, you're going to need some post moves, brother. Justin, we're going to work on some post moves with you. Chris, I'm counting on you. You need some post moves. David, you need at least three. BTB means back the basket. You're getting it for the basket, you turn around. FTB means facing the basket, front the basket. Either way, when you hit operate, go to work. Don't pause. Don't hesitate. Take it to them. Shot. When the shot goes up on off on, on, on your defense, somebody holler out shot. Everybody crash the boards. I want one person to free throw line, extend it back, just in case, you know, it goes off um, a long rebound. But when that shot goes up, I want you all crashing those boards. At least four of you crashing those boards, okay? No divas, ND. There are no divas, no special preferential treatment. We all gonna go hard. We win as a team, we lose as a team. We walk in as a team, we walk out as a team. We are together, okay? Triple A, alert at all times. <clears throat> you can't go to the bench and zone out. You can't be in the game and zone out. As you're checking in, you ask the person you're coming in for, who do you have? They're going to tell you the number, and vice versa. You let them know who you have. Anything you know about the person, hey, he can't go left. Hey, he's got a you know, jump shot from here. Hey, let your teammate know you're a team. You're all in this together. We're all in this together, so you got to be alert at all times, okay? That I will take you out for. Last but not least, TCF, team comes first. Care about your teammate. Care that their grades are together. Care that you're working together. If someone goes down, I want two people to help them up at all times. Don't let anyone intimidate your teammates and you work together. This is not one-on-one -on -one basketball. A lot of times you all cheer. If one person does a move on someone else, ooh, 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 okay, that's fine in practice. But game time comes, any one person on another team does a move, it's on all of you, whether it's directly in your face or not. So help your teammate out. Help yourself out. The only way we're going to have a good, strong defense is got to be a team defense. The only way TJ or David or Mike can get out there in front on the perimeter and really defend, Maxwell or Ezra can really defend, the post players got to be backing them up so they know if they miss, we got them. We're going to stress those concepts all year long, so get ready, okay? This should be the second to last video you see before our scrimmage for the Jamboree tomorrow. Later on this evening, I'm going to put out, you know, our matrix points because at 1030, all, everything is over. So if you don't have all these in, you've gotten all the points you're going to get at least for this week. Okay, so check it out. Leave a comment. Leave a comment on all of them. Get ready for the metric points as well. And last but not least, what's I going to put out? Oh, just some things you need to know before the game. Make sure you bring your water, your power aid, your Gatorade, whatever that is. Make sure you're there at least a half hour before game time. So if our first game is 240, you're going to need to be there about 205, 210. Don't wander around. Come find your teammates. The time to talk and socialize and look at other teams and all that stuff, that's afterwards. Beforehand, we're going to get our minds right to play these games. It's been a pleasure these past two weeks working with you. I appreciate how hard you're working. You have to go harder on your own. But we're going to make it. We're going to be there. All right? It's Coach Lee. See y'all later.